All right, so let me show you how you can blur sensitive data on your dashboard before sharing it out. Now, before we go in there, of course, what I'll say, this is really important that you share your dashboard, you share your story, you share the story of your work, your skill, your accomplishments, because in this day and age, you can't just do good work and hope to succeed, right? You got to do good work and tell great stories. Tell others about the work that you have done. And the more people know about it, uh, the more in control of your own destiny and life you're going to be. That's the way you get to hold the steering wheel of your career and life in your hands. So it's truly, crucially important. So let's um, uh, let's uh, uh, get on that. So actually, the first thing that I'm going to start with is not how to blur, but this tip, which you're going to find incredibly useful. So let's say I have, uh, so I used to work at Microsoft and let's say I have a sales report showing Microsoft sales. Now, of course, this is adventure works, but you get the idea, right? And uh, now if I take it as is, I sometimes had to blur quite a bit because anybody who works at Microsoft or adventure works in this case would know these numbers. They would say, Oh man, that's yeah. Did you, did you show, are you showing our data? Right. Or something like that. Right. So a, a tip here is that always start out. If you want to hide sensitive data, always start out by adding a filter. Now here's the key though. Generally the filter you're looking for should not be something that is on this on the dashboard already. For example, if I add a, a filter for, let's say, sales territory, if I add that to the filter, let's say, on this page, and I say it's Australia, notice that the, you know, kind of the, the one, one of the graphs just looks kind of bad now, right? So you don't want to choose that. You want to choose something else, maybe. Uh, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a weekday. Now, again, if your dashboard shows like a weekday trend, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sales, then you don't want to choose that, right? So choose something which is not on your dashboard. In, in this case, in my dashboard does not have the weekday. So I'm going to bring that filter in and I'm going to just say only show me Monday. So now notice that every single thing changes, right? So everything changes. So now, uh, yeah, I mean, if people look at the high level numbers, they're, they don't know. I mean, right. I mean, I don't think anybody's looking at Monday sales and frankly, yeah, you know, so it, it's going to be okay. And again, you can get more specific if you like, it's like, I don't know, Monday and add something else. So again, start with the filters so that it, it's, it kind of simplifies your task from uh, then on. All right. So that's the first tip. Now let's start. And uh, again, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show it to you in PowerPoint because that might be easiest for a lot of people. And then I'm going to show you uh, uh, using a free tool, paint.net. Okay, so let's go to part two. So I'm just going to take a screenshot. So, you know, you just use the snipping tool or whatever you got. So I'm gonna take a screenshot and guys, so I have done this a few times in PowerPoint and I'm sure there are like smarter ways to do it. Maybe if you figure it out, let us know, record a video, share that with us and we'll add that in the links. But this is the way I do it. So, uh, so I, I, I make two copies of it, right? And I and I um, moved the uh, the uh, the image right at the top corner. So that's all set. And then I'm gonna blur this first one. So I'm gonna click on this photo, and then in Power BI, uh, I'm gonna go to artistic artistic effect. And, and this one is blur. If you hover over it, it's going to say blur. Now you can do that. And, you know, notice it blurs everything, which is good, which is what we want right now. Now, if you like, you can also click on this artistic effect options. And there you can change or control the level of blur. So maybe this is too blurred. And, you know, maybe I can dial it down a little bit. So again, since I filtered my data overall, I'm not really even concerned about this, right? Because right, nobody's going to know like, oh, oh, oh my, uh, Avi, why are you showing our Monday sales, right? I mean, you know, <laughs> so I'm not worried if these numbers, when I reduce the blur, that the high level numbers are kind of visible. All right. So again, uh, oh, I was uh, wanted to be in the blur menu. So again, I'm controlling kind of the, uh, the blur radius here, and I'm just going to see seven, I think some of the names yeah, between seven and eight again, you know, yeah. All right. So uh, you can figure that out. So you blur this first image and then 
I'm going to blur the second image section by section. So of course, the idea with blurring is you want to blur as little as possible because otherwise, you know, I mean, of course, I mean, this, it's going to be hard to show if you blur everything that's easy, but the goal is to blur as little as possible. So I have this blurred photo, I have this clean photo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this page, copy this image, I'm using control C, control V, and then I'm going to align it at the top, right? So I'm going to align this one so that they're both aligned, right? And then I'm the, the, the top photo, oops, I'm going to crop it. And again, remember to crop it. You're not resizing it, you're cropping it. And you're going to see. So if I, um, uh, let's say I want to blur the customer names. So I'm going to bring that here. And again, crop, crop, crop. And... There we go. And since the names are blurred, and I already had this weird filter on Monday, you know, <laughs> nobody's going to know these numbers, so I can leave that unblurred. You see how it's working? And you know what? In this case, I'm choosing not to blur this because it doesn't make sense. So let's uh, uh, let's do another part. And again, I go over to the blurred image. I copy it. I go to this one, paste it, align it at the top, and then crop it. You see, I mean, and of course, you can see once you get the hang of it, this goes by really quick. And here, um, maybe I want to hide my categories. Um, actually, let me see. Uh, let me see. Oh, what was the data? Um, yeah, you know, so maybe maybe let's try. Oops. So, again, you want to crop it. So, I want to hide these names. Maybe that's sensitive, the category names. So, I'm cropping it. Okay, there we go, right? Uh, let's ha uh, do the same thing with the product names. So copy the blurred one, control C, control V, paste it in here, align it at the top, and then crop, crop, crop. So I'm going to go here, crop till here, crop till here. And again, I can show the sales because that's uh, without the product being shown and with my filter is not really sensitive data. Uh, same way I can show these because again, it's like Monday, nobody's going to know. Um, and uh, let's, let's actually hide uh, the countries. I think countries are okay. So I'm going to control C, control V, align, picture format, crop. And let's crop this here. Okay, now of course in some cases you would want to hide the company name. We can do that too. So let's just grab that. And of course you can like cut it all out or remove it before taking the scram screenshot if you like. Oops. Uh, sorry, I, I made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so we got that. And if you do want to hide the company name, again I'm going to do uh, crop. And in this case, maybe the logo is obviously, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's very visible. So I can increase the blur factor here. So notice my artistic effect is still on. So let me just try it. Or if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll try something else. Y yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, of course you can do something else. So yeah, company logo, I kind of hit that. Um, uh, uh, all right, so let's take a look at it. Let's see how it's looking. And yeah, so so looking again, the high level data because of my filter, I don't even need to hide it. I've hidden the customer names. I've hidden the company logo. I've hidden sales by category. This one is not sensitive anymore because it's just Mondays and nobody's going to care or no product name is hidden. Uh, these categories are hidden. I mean, these are just country names. And again, the numbers are not going to make sense to anybody in my organization, uh, right? Because nobody's checking Monday sales. So, so yeah, so if you make the right filter, you can just um, make your job so much easier, you would have to hide uh, much less content. Okay, let's do the next part, which is paint.net. Now paint.net gets confusing because uh, the, the website, oops, is getpaint.net. Okay, I'm gonna put that in uh, the slide. All right, so I, I figured might as well just, just say getpaint.net, right? So you go there, and it's a free software, download it, and it's pretty awesome. Let's see. 
All right, so here's the tool, and I already have this dashboard copied, so I'm gonna uh, put that in. And this one, uh, you can there are there is this tool palette here, and we're gonna use the first one, which is to select areas. So you click that, and uh, oops, I don't know why I select. So you click that, and then you can uh, just drag the areas you want to blur select that and say FX blur and ga Gaussian Gaussian blur and again you can choose kind of the how blurry you want it to be and you can keep going that way so you blur that done you select the next section effects blur Gaussian blur hit OK and so on and so forth so I'm not going to show you the rest but um, yeah you can use this or use a PowerPoint approach either way but again my friends the most important part is you learn that that lesson right that in this day and age you can't just do good work and hope to succeed you got to do good work and tell great stories so let's get started on that journey and I know the first time it's it's you know may feel um, but you're, you're gonna get better as you go out there another line that, that we love is uh, don't wait for the perfect story go out there tell your story, make it perfect, right? So that's how you're going to get there. So don't wait like, oh, it's not, it's not good. Yeah, let me, let me tinker, let me tweak this, put it out there. That's the best and the fastest way to make it a better story. Just like our Power BI models, the agile approach. That's what it is. All right, my friends, power on.